Assemble XTool D1 Pro. Cut off the cable tie on the right plate. Fit the four side plates together. Align the power switch, power port, and USB port with the openings on the right plate. Use screws to hold the side plates together. Use screws to fit the idler pulleys. The screw is used to set the tension of the timing belt. Do not fully tighten it, otherwise, the timing belt may be damaged. Put the shaft through the coupling. Put the coupling through the timing belt, insert the shaft into the idler pulley. If you can't put the shaft through the timing belt, the possible cause is that the timing belt is set too tight. You can adjust its tension by turning the screw. Slide the coupling to the joint of the shaft and motor shaft. Slide the two sliders down against the front plate. Fully tighten the two screws on the coupling. Connect the motor on the left plate to the main control board. Insert the connectors into the port on the main control board and the one on the motor, respectively. Pay attention to the front and back sides of the connector. Insert it properly. Use cable ties to fix the motor cable on the front plate. Fit the middle plate. Cut off the white cable ties on the middle plate and reserve the black ones. Insert the connector of the motor cable into the port on the motor. Align the middle plate with the screw holes on the sliders and use screws to hold the middle plate and sliders together. Use the screw to fit the timing pulley. The screw is used to set the tension of the timing belt. Do not fully tighten them. Otherwise, the timing belts may be damaged. Connect the limit switch component on the middle plate to the one on the slider of the left plate. Insert the connectors of the laser module, motor, and limit switch connection cables into the ports on the main control board, respectively. Use cable ties to fix the connection cables on the right plate. Insert the plug. Install the nozzle connector. Connect the main control board and laser module. Fit the laser module on the middle plate. Use the thumb screw to fit the laser module. Turn the handle clockwise. Hold the handle to draw it away from the thread part. Rotate the handle to stop it from being blocked. Release the handle. Turn the handle clockwise again. You may need to repeat this process multiple times to tighten the thumb screw. Use the thumb screw. If the handle is blocked, you can tighten or loosen the screw as follows. Hold the handle to draw it away from the threaded part. Rotate the handle to stop it from being blocked. The screw is not tightened or loosened. Release the handle. The handle goes back to the default position.
Rotate the handle to tighten or loosen the screw. Install the TF card. Insert the TF card before using Xtool D1 Pro. Otherwise, some functions may fail. Great. The assembly is done. Meet your Xtool D1 Pro. Precaution. Prevent the middle plate and laser module from falling down themselves. Otherwise, the limit pieces may be damaged. Adjust the tension of the timing belts. Try to set the timing belts on the right and left plates to the same tension. So that Xtool D1 Pro can cut and engrave materials properly. Use Xtool D1 Pro for the first time. Connect your device to a computer and power supply. Place the material to be processed. Set the position of the laser module. Open Xtool Creative Space. Connect your device to XCS. Insert a shape or other elements. Set the processing parameters and then click Start. Click Framing. Press the button to start framing. Preview whether the design elements are to be processed in the expected area. Press the button to start processing. Click Start to start processing. Wait for the processing to complete. Click Done after the processing is complete. Use Xtool D1 Pro with rotary attachment 2, RA2. RA2 and risers are not included in the pack. Purchase them if you need them. Install risers. Use RA2 to engrave your bottle. Connect RA2 to your device. Use the jaw chuck to hold the bottle. Set the position of the laser module. Connect your device to XCS. Insert an image. Set the processing type to laser cylindrical. Set the processing parameters and then click Process to start processing. Click Framing to preview the processing area. Press the button to start framing. Preview whether the design elements are to be processed in the expected area. Minimize the window and press the button to start processing. Wait for the processing to complete. Click Done after the processing is complete. 